What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a freelance artist journey. Today's show is going to be me just kind of speaking off the top of my head. I am in the middle of working on a project for a client, and I figured since I sit here and talk to myself anyway, I might as well turn the mic on and talk to you guys. You know, I guess I am putting myself on blast <laughs> for the world to judge. But don't judge me. You do it too. You know you do. But, um, yeah, so I've got a list here of topics that I could talk about. And, you know, I could go through some of these and talk while I am working. And we'll see if this, we'll see how this goes because I am not, um, I'm not a good multitasker by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, I just don't believe that multitasking is the best way to get things done because you never give any one thing a hundred percent. And so, you know, I struggle with that because, you know, I like to immerse myself fully in what I'm doing. And if I'm multitasking, then I'm never fully engaged the way I want to be. So we'll see how this goes. But I am in the middle of formatting a book for uh, an independent uh, author. And yes, I'm doing graphic design. You know, and, and for those who have listened to any of my previous videos, you know that I came from a graphic design background and got burnt out on graphic design and quit art altogether. I just dropped out. I, I quit the job that I was working at at that time. This was maybe... 2007 yeah because I had just got married and it was about eight months to a year later and you know I just couldn't do my job anymore so I quit I gave my two weeks notice and I was out and so, you know, from that point on, I felt like art was just not my thing. And, um, you know, it took a few years and just some real soul searching for me to realize that art was my thing, but it just wasn't particularly graphic design. But I needed to stay creative because, you know, I started to get depressed um, because what I had done was I went from a job at a, a company that made restraints. Okay. So for hospitals and things like that. So these were restraints used to keep patients in the bed and keep them from harming themselves and any other type of medical device that helped to keep bedridden patients comfortable and safe so with all type of different neck collars and just weird stuff um yeah silence of the lamb looking face guards and just yeah it was interesting but anyway so i i helped to create the catalogs and the brochures and as you can imagine there was a lot of government government regulations and regulatory information that needed to be clearly 
communicated to the the hospital staff and to anyone that was was using the equipment you know because this stuff could potentially hurt someone if it wasn't applied properly so you needed clear instructions on how to apply it you needed graphs pictures anything to visually communicate how to use the product and how not to use it and it a lot of it was mundane boring and you know that was part of what kind of drove me away was there was not a whole lot of creativity involved now you, you know you could kind of find some things to do and stay creative but just in general i had just really burned myself out this was at the end of a probably 15 year career bouncing around uh from corporation to corporation getting laid off um doing temp work at different agencies and and um you know in different studios and things and you know maybe a week here three months there you know and then looking for work and freelancing in between and uh yeah so you know i did that for like 15 years and it was just tiring you know and and just climbing the ladder you know at one point i was the lead graphic designer at a company and you know just like i fought hard to make it to that place you know with the intention of crossing over into illustration at some point but you know it was just so exhausting just keeping the job that i had that i could never focus on anything else so yeah over time i just got sick of the whole thing and i left and i went into a totally different uh, direction and got into um, real estate investing and I did that for a few years and it looked like it was going to really go well. And, you know, I wanted to start to get into flipping, made a little money here and there. And then, like I said, that was 2007, 2006, 2007. And then, you know, what happened in 2008, you know, the bubble burst, the housing market was no more. And so then I ended up, you know, upside down in some properties and had to, you know, we had to dig our way out of that. So, um, you know, then from there, I found myself going back to just kind of like a minimum wage delivery type job just to have some type of a stable income and you know we, we just kind of dug our way out of the hole that we were in it was kind of along that time or around that time that i started to rediscover who i was and what my true passion was and i started drawing again and i remember being on a delivery route for this uh, food company and after I delivered some food on the way back to the restaurant there was a yard sale and I made a quick stop and said oh let, you know let me just see what they got you know I had a few bucks on me from uh, some tips and I took a look around, they had some books. I looked through the books and there was this art book and I have it somewhere around here. I don't, it's probably in a box somewhere and I can't remember the name of it, but it was um, how to draw caricatures. And I just flipped through it and it, you know, it was appealing to me, obviously, you know, being an artist. And I asked the guy, you know, how much for the book? And he was, he, you know, he said 50 cents, 75 cents, something like that. So, you know, I gave him a buck and, you know, I had the book and was flipping through it. And then something about that kind of just triggered and it just brought back the passion 
slowly it wasn't an initial thing but over time this this passion and thirst to create started bubbling up again thanks again for tuning in please do me a favor and hit that little subscribe button and that little bell so you can be notified when the next video drops. Later.